Okay guys, today's the day. I feel like that TikTok um, from Finding Nemo where it's like, it's morning everyone, today's the day. The sun is shining, the tank is clean. The tank is clean. I feel like that because it is the Eras Tour vlog. I am so excited. I'm gonna do a few TikToks, like get ready with me, like TikTok thing, and then like the outfit, TikTok trend, and I'm also gonna vlog, but like when I get into the stadium and stuff, I'm definitely gonna just vlog on my phone. Um, I need to actually ask my mom where like a portable charger is because I'm gonna need that. Like I did for Lady Gaga, I just vlogged on my phone because you, as you guys know, like there's weird stuff stadium rules about like the size of your bag it can't be like this size and then it has to be clear like I don't know but first like always we're gonna get some Starbucks and I need to run to the store to get some more laundry detergent because we're all out and yeah so that's exciting um I just wanted to start the video off here and yeah it's part of my day so let's go okay so i kind of wanted to tell you how i got these tickets because let me just tell you i wasn't about to pay 800 dollars for a concert ticket basically my friend calls me during class okay like i don't even know what i'm doing but i get a call like a missed facetime and you know how like the macbook connects to the phone weirdly enough it said missed facetime call because I immediately like declined it and I was like well that's weird maybe it was just like a butt dial or something so like I immediately like declined it and then she she texted me and was like I have big news like all caps and like my mind goes to <laughs> she's pregnant I don't even know why I mean it would I mean it wouldn't be a disaster because like she's married and stuff but like still I don't know why my mind went to that but it did and I'm like oh my god that's so exciting like I don't know I that's where my mind went okay clearly way off okay and <laughs> she was like no I got Taylor Swift tickets and then I was like oh my god she was like oh I got them for like a really good price I don't like go searching for tickets I have only like purchased tickets for like this cheer live thing um it was a cheer live show through Ticketmaster like I'm not that big on concerts and I know I might get like hate for that but like I don't know it's just a lot of money and like I've just never been a concert girly I mean and it's kind of ironic that now like in the past couple years I've been to like two concerts because I went to the Lady Gaga concert but like I don't seek out like okay when it comes to like an exclusive like piece of merchandise like lululemon or i don't know i guess materialistic things like i am that person to like seek out check and like go to the secondhand market to like see what the prices are like i am that type of girly i'm not the type of girl to like go to great lengths to get um like concert tickets if other people are that's great because i reap the benefits and I definitely did get lucky. Um, hold on, I need to place my Starbucks order. <laughs> she got the tickets, I had this whole conversation with her in the bathroom, she tells me the price, and I was like, okay, this is definitely like not a good financial decision for me to be making right now because I don't have like a whole lot of income coming in. It's not the best decision, but like how many times in your life are you gonna get to see Taylor Swift how many times does she even like go on tour? And this is the era's tour. And you know, like we're all about like saying, oh my blah, blah, blah era, you know? It's just one of those things that it's like, I just feel the need, like I need to go to this, you know? Like, I don't know how else to explain it. And I do like Taylor Swift. I would not consider myself like a huge like Swifty. Like I don't know all the songs and I know I might get hate for that too. Like hate me but I think she's a great person and I enjoy her music I can go to her concert you know what I'm saying like I genuinely like her as an artist and she is cool like I like her so I want to see her yeah I'm just gonna leave that there but um yeah not the best financial decision right now but it's one of those like the experience am I gonna ever get it again I don't know so I said yes and the concert tickets for myself um she got like insurance so it's a little bit more than this i forget how much like i still have to pay her back for like the insurance part the concert tickets were 330 dollars now you know what i could get like a mini pochette thing from like uh louis vuitton like i was trying to like compare i'm like okay that's fair like i will yeah okay i just said yes i'll go like i'm in 
So I paid her half and then like I waited a week to see like if the Easter brought me Easter Bunny brought me money and then after that I paid her the second half and then I still again like I owe her a little bit more but I will obviously get that to her so yeah that's kind of like the story on how I got to go to this concert which is like crazy and it's gonna be super fun and I got to skip school today because if you don't want to like listen to this you can always skip over this part but um, how I got to like skip school is because like the teachers weren't gonna be there and I was like you know what miss her name and I was like do I have to come tomorrow because like you're not gonna be here and I'm going to the Taylor Swift concert like can I just miss it and I'll just do whatever work like next week and she was like yeah that's totally fine but yeah that is a story on how I got the tickets and like how we we ended up here so I'm really excited I'm very grateful that I get to go no matter like where I'm sitting like on social media this this is like a huge production and like I think it's done really well so like I want to see it it's not in Miami like the Lady Gaga one was so really without traffic obviously the stadium's only an hour away from my house this is actually like not even a far like concert far way to travel especially for me so I'm ha really happy about that as well but anyway I am going to get my Starbucks now so sorry for chatting your ears off but I just thought I would need to, to I just thought I needed to explain everything also for my memories but for your entertainment okay so I got the goods it looks pretty good it looks a little light but it should be fine it's good good way to start the day okay so this is a third of my outfit so I'm wearing this white shirt I'm probably gonna like tuck it into the skirt and then I have these white shoes I mentioned on my TikTok that I really need like white boots number one for cowboys number two would be perfect for this occasion but I just bought hokas they're like expensive shoes for like being on your feet all day and they'll be good for clinicals and stuff so i will not be getting any boots or anything like that anytime soon i'm wearing my friend's skirt which will be cool and then obviously i just did the usual makeup because i don't have anything special because i don't have any of that so it's fine i just cleared out my phone like from all like pictures and videos so i don't like run out of storage and i can get like good vlog footage as well on my phone again because i'm not taking this camera but yeah i'm planning on taking this big bag i have my belt bag in here but i just kind of want like everything here i mean i have everything in this bag i even have like a phone charger and like extra cash and all that so i just decided i can leave like leave that in my friend's trunk or whatever so yeah, she's gonna be here in about 20 minutes. And yeah, I'm so excited, finally. It'll be really fun. I think tonight's gonna be a really, really fun night. All right, so this is my outfit. I That's will sparkle cool. a little bit. And then I'm wearing this pink skirt. Look how cute! Okay, Quentin, what, what are you excited about? Like, what song? I'm excited about Don't Blame Me. Okay. I'm excited about Look What You Made Me Do. Pretty much yes. any of the reputation. And yeah, I know reputation. that her second song is gonna be Cruel Summer. And I'm really, really pumped because that's yeah. like my favorite. I will be screaming that. Okay, cool. Anything else you wanna add? I'm good. <laughs> what are you most excited about? The surprise songs. Yes. Because I want, oh my, I want Getaway Car. Oh, I would love Getaway Car. Or mm -hmm. Sparks Fly. Mm -hmm. Oh, or what's yeah, the other Sparks one? Fly. Or Picture to Burn. Oh, oh Picture to Burn. Picture to Burn, yes. We've come to Panera now. Riley, show your outfit. Look how cute. Yes, yes. It is crazy in here. So crazy. Look at the line. Devoured the mac and cheese before I could vlog it. We've switched over to the phone now. Yes. Right? And five, six, seven, eight. She a baddie, she knows she a ten. She a baddie, she knows she a ten. Thank you.
Well, now it's been confirmed, Ten for Florida. You're already making me feel amazing. just welcomed us to this glorious stadium. It's making me feel so, so powerful. <laughs> Story of my life. It is an honor and a privilege to say this to you tonight. Tampa, Florida, welcome to the Eras Tour. I'm looking out at this crowd, this beautiful crowd of about 70,000 people who have all ended up in the same room, at the same time. <laughs> and I do, I did wonder, you know, is there anyone here tonight who has gone to a considerable amount of effort to be with us this evening? Okay, I just did an official count, that was absolutely everyone. Is there anyone here who has put a lot of thought into being here tonight? Your outfit, memorizing lyrics, etc. everyone too. So um, you just confirmed to me that we're gonna have like a really fantastic time together this evening. I'd like to say to every single person here on behalf of every single person who is on this stage, who has work, worked on this tour, who helped us design it, our beautiful opening acts, Gracie Abrams and Viva Doobie, on behalf of all of us, thank you for spending tonight with us here at the Eras Tour. So tonight, we're going to be going on a grand adventure, one era at a time. <laughs> these that started out being written about my life or something that I felt at one point. Some of these songs may be about fictional characters that I created in my head, but the most important thing to me and my biggest dream is that when you sing them tonight, they'll be about you and your life. By the way, I'll be your host this evening. My name is Taylor. Like when I would play them at first, especially one song in particular, I I would feel a lot of pain when singing it. Um, and then I would sing it with you, and you would sing it back so passionately, and it was such an incredibly transformative experience to see that you related to what I was singing, and that I wasn't alone in that. That all of a sudden, performing it didn't hurt me anymore. It felt like it was about us. Do you know what I mean? And I think, and that's happened, you've done that for me ever since. I've, you've done that with every song I have, really. You have redefined it and made it ours. And I'd love to sing that song that I, that I was just talking about. I'm gonna, I'm gonna create some characters, wouldn't that be cool? If you just, you know, you create some characters, you see what happens, they fall in and out of love, and, uh, so I think some of my favorite ones were, you know, this, uh, this teenage boy named James and, uh, and the really, like, cute, gossipy girl at their school named Inez and... a different two every night, which is fun and also terrifying for me, um, <laughs> but, but mostly fun. And you know, I think that um, I would just like to start by saying that um, I, in the last couple of years, discovered sort of like the collaborator version of a soulmate, 
um, I met a guy named Aaron Dessner. And like, he's so incredibly brilliant. Um, we have made so much music in the last couple of years. It's, it's actually really ridiculous how much music we've made together. Started with Folklore, then went on to Evermore. He's been so helpful with the re-records that I've been doing. Um, and uh, we are so lucky tonight, Tampa, Florida. Because, because Aaron Desner is here. Um, we, we wanted to perform for you a song that we did together, that's cool. Um, and, um, you know, this song, this song really took on a new meaning when you guys um, made enough jokes about how you trying to get tickets for this tour um, felt like surviving the Great War. When I started the tour, I was like, I'm, I'm good in the acoustic section, I'm never repeating a song. I'm never doing songs more than once. Um, but now I'm like, oh, God, there are so many songs I want to do more than once. And like, so, I, 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 I'm making a, a, a little caveat to the rule, which is that if it's, if it's on midnight, I can do it however many times I want. <laughs> because midnight is like, the most accurate picture of like you know my life to date you know it's the most recent album i feel really connected to it i'm really proud of it um so so i was thinking you know i if i want to do songs for midnights more than once on this tour i will and i'm feeling very midnightsy tonight so i've been you know so, so I thought, you know, in this section in the acoustic set, I usually do songs from different albums, but I just am like so in a midnight's mood right now that I thought I would do one that I've never played before. 